Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I've always told I had a voice radio, so today I am delighted because we get to look at a new card. And looking at new cards is my favorite thing to do on this channel. Love looking at decks, love sharing news, love discussing random topics, but ladies and gentlemen, nothing fills my heart with joy like new cards. Now, by now, you guys probably have realized that I sit and hover over the Japanese official Pokemon Twitter, because why would I not? Today, they have just revealed a new Cynthia's card, which I'm assuming is just called Cynthia. I'm joking. I don't assume it's called Cynthia. I went onto Bulbapedia, found her Japanese name written down, checked it against the card, and you can see that it is just called Cynthia. Boom. Now, I also did some digging, because if you look at the translation that Google gives us, it basically talks about use it at your hand. And it's got the number six in there. So I went and found a Japanese picture of Professor Oak's new theory, also on Bulbapedia, and look... It's the same card. Been confirmed by Nate McDonald on Facebook, but I am I feel pretty confident that this is the same card. Professor Oak's new theory is back. Now, what it does, for those of you that weren't playing back then, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six cards. It is like a Shauna with an extra card. And some of you might be thinking, ah, well, hang on a second, Ross. That's not so good. Oh, no, it is. It's really, really good. How many people play N just to get an extra card over Shauna, even when they're not trying to disrupt their opponent? We have Tapu Lele at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. We can search for any supporter card we like. So we can play a mixture of Shauna and N. Shauna to get five cards, N to get six. And we can play Shauna when we don't want to disrupt our opponent's hand, because Shauna just makes us shuffle and get five cards. N makes both players shuffle and get a number of cards equal to their remaining prize cards. We could be using Tapu Lele to choose between the two. Playing both in our deck, we don't. Look at any new deck list. Look at all the successful deck lists. They are pretty much just playing N and not playing Shauna. And the reason is incredibly simple. More cards is always good. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration. If you've got six cards left in your deck, then drawing all six means you lose at the beginning of your next turn. Maybe drawing five would be better, or even drawing four with a Halla, assuming you haven't used your GX attack. But 99% of the time, drawing more cards is always better. Ladies and gentlemen, if you weren't playing during the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, let me lay this out to you as simply as I possibly can. Everybody played Professor Oak's New Theory. Professor Oak's New Theory was one of the very, very best cards in the format. I've done a top 10 of Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'll chuck a link in the description. I'm going to be honest, I can't remember where I put it. And Heart Gold Soul Silver was a phenomenal set. But I'm willing to bet I put it quite highly. I'm going to stick it in the description without looking and hopefully I will be proven right. And the thing you've got to remember is that back when Hard Gold Soul Silver came out, we were not reliant on shuffle draw supporters. We had Uxie that was like a shaman, but it got you an extra card. We had Clado, which allowed you to put two cards from your hand to the bottom of your deck. And then draw until you've got six cards in your hand. We had a whole bunch of other options. And yet, we still went and played Professor Oak's new theory. One of the most jarring things that really made it obvious to me how good this card was. Was when Yuta Komatsuda went and won the world championships in 2010 with his Lux Chomp deck. And he actually played three copies of Professor Oak's New Theory, which a lot of people didn't. They had Uxie. They had Uxie Level X. A lot of people, especially in these SP decks, weren't playing Professor Oak's New Theory. The one that won the World Championships played Professor Oak's New Theory. And then we've got a really cool segue here because, of course, this really revolved around Garchomp C Level X, which was Cynthia's Pokemon. 
And this is Cynthia's card. And just as a side note, regular viewers will know of my affinity towards the beautiful Garchomp, even if he is a really bad Pokemon to play with on Pokemon Tournament, as much as I like to try and pretend otherwise. So, I like the idea of having a Cynthia's card. Now, the first thing we need to talk about with any new supporter is the fact that we've got Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele's Wonder Tag means that we can search for any supporter we like and put it into our hand when we play Tapu Lele onto the bench, assuming we're not ability locked by something like a Garboda or an Alolan Muck. This is really good because it means now that we don't have to play four of a supporter for the consistency. Bridget used to be a really bad card, and then when Tapu Lele was released, Bridget became a one-of in every single uh, evolution deck at least, because we can now get it turn one with Tapu Lele. So I can say with absolute certainty that Cynthia will see some play because you can play just one or two and search it out with Tapu Lele. Bit sad that we lost Versus Seeker and we can't reuse it with that, but never mind, you can't have it all. The real question becomes... Is it better than the other supporters we've got? So to finish off today, what we really need to do is have a look at how this compares to the other supporter cards we have. Now, if you compare it to Professor Sycamore, there is no real comparison. They do different things. Professor Sycamore discards your hand and draws you seven more, whereas Cynthia shuffles your hand into your deck and gets you a new six. In the same way that N has been used as shuffle draw and Sycamore has been used as aggressive draw, as it will be with Cynthia. When you play that Tapu Lele, if you've got two double colorless energy in your hand that you just don't want to get rid of, you are going to play a Cynthia, whereas if you've got zero cards in hand, you are going to play a Sycamore. Cynthia will not replace Professor Sycamore, but I feel extremely confident in saying that it will be played in conjunction with. We can look at Shauna, and it's really simple. Nobody is going to play Shauna anymore. Shauna has become hot garbage. Apologies to Shauna. I'm sure Shauna's lovely. Although I've always been a bigger fan of Cynthia because she has a Garchomp and Shauna doesn't. Shauna gets you five cards. Cynthia gets you six. There is absolutely no comparison. Goodbye, Shauna. Little bit sad that we just got the full art Shauna released, and now there is no reason for anybody to ever play it. I suppose until this card comes out. Now, in terms of Hala, it's very simple. It's, again, a shuffle draw card. It gets you four cards if you haven't used your GX attack, and seven if you have. So it's really simple. If you're playing a deck where you intend to use a GX attack early, something like a Solgaleo, Hala is amazing, you would play it over Cynthia. Otherwise, Cynthia's just the better card. Six is a lot better than four and a little bit worse than seven. So maybe you still play one Hala, but Cynthia will largely replace Hala unless you're playing a deck that aims to use a GX attack early. And finally, N. This is the biggest question of whether Cynthia is better than N. And the answer is, I think we play a mixture. N is still really good in the late game to lower your opponent's hand size. If your opponent has got one prize remaining and you've got six, then N is so much better than Cynthia. But if it's turn one and your opponent didn't play a supporter last turn, indicating that they probably have a really bad hand, Cynthia is so much better than N. So really what I believe happens here is Shauna goes away, Hala largely goes away, and instead of playing four Sycamore and four N, we still play four Sycamore, but we play a combination of N and Cynthia. Maybe 2-2. Two, two. I'd be tempted to play something like three Cynthia, two N with my four Professor Sycamore. But either way, Cynthia will definitely, definitely, definitely see a huge amount of play in almost every deck straight from the off because it's amazing shuffle draw if you're in the mid to late game you've got cards in your hand that you don't want to discard but you've only got two prizes left sycamore is a bad card n is a bad card cynthia becomes a good card but you can still use cynthia on turn one to get a new hand of six cards just like you would use an n as far as i'm concerned 
This is a five wassy card. And just like Solgaleo the other day, I didn't have to sit and think about this. Professor Oak's new theory was one of the best cards in the format. And I don't see anything about the current format that would make us think any differently. Juniper was amazing, got reprinted as Sycamore, still saw a load of play. Pont was amazing, reprinted as Cynthia, will still see a huge amount of play. As a side note, it is coming out in that Solgaleo Lunala deck in Japan. We have absolutely no idea how it's going to be released in the UK, US, Europe, etc. Leading theory would probably be that it's going to be part of our February set, which we now know to be called Ultra Prism. I did a video about that, link in the description, but there is no guarantee. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to know what you think about this card. Let me know if in the comments. Go nuts! Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. There is going to be a stream at 8pm UK time tonight, so make sure you come along and join in. It's going to be a wonderful time. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc., you can do so at patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Money's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.